Hola y bienvenidos a Tiger Art. Hi and welcome to Tiger Art. Today we're going to be finishing the Ale Brihe painting project. And Ale Brihe is a traditional craft made in the town of Oaxaca, Mexico. We were learning about these creatures and these little sculptures that are made there and how their bright colors and very detailed pattern work make them so unique. We started with a quick sketch, then we enlarged that to a better looking, bigger drawing that would ultimately be painted. Last time was all about covering it in paint. This time is going to be about adding the repeating patterns over top of them that make, the, uh, that make those colors really pop and make it, make it look like an Ale Brihe. That's a key feature of this. So you will be doing some pattern work today. You might be using Sharpie or crayons or regular markers, or you're always welcome to use more paint. I think paint would be a great way to accomplish this. Uh, you'll see me doing a slightly different technique, but really whatever you have available to you is what you should use. All right, I hope you've really enjoyed this project. Let's finish it up strong. Vamanos! All right, so for this part, you're going to be finishing the Ale Brihe today. Uh, you may need to take this in two parts and let some paint dry in between. But you're going to see probably that your paper has what I call potato chipped quite a bit. Um, this is actually pretty severe. Uh, what happens when a potato chip is cooked? So it's like a, you know, a slice of potato and then when they cook it, it like curls up on the edges. That's why we call this potato chipping. When you paint one side of a paper and not the other side, it kind of shrinks on that side and it curls the paper up and it, it does the same thing as a potato chip when it cooks. So to fix this, you just reverse the curve. So if it's curling that way, you basically turn it upside down and try curling it the other way. So by reversing the curve, now I get it to, to lay more flat. So now that I have that good and set ready to go, then I can go back in and start finishing some things. So one thing I might want to do is add some more paint layers to paint in some patterns. Uh, another thing I might want to do is grab some crayons or markers to add patterns inside of the patterns. If you happen to have anything like this, these are oil pastels, these will show up really good. So you could use something like that. You could use paint, you could use markers, you could use regular crayons. Uh, if you had like a gel pen or something, you could use that. Anything that's actually going to show up. And you can try out different things and see if it works. If it doesn't work, try something else. You know, Sharpies would work good. Um, any of that kind of stuff. So I'm actually going to do a bit of painting on this. And I think I'm going to paint just a few different colors. You know what? Scratch that. So I am just going to, since I have access to these oil pastels, I'm going to use these because they'll show up real good and I can use a bunch of different colors. I could also use some paint or I could even uh, use some Sharpie markers. So I'll be doing a mixture of all of those things. And I'm just going to add a pattern to it. Doesn't matter what color I add. You know, the more colors, the more the merrier here. So I'm going to add a polka dot pattern going around the border of this yellow shape. Okay, now maybe I'll go into my orange shape and I will do something similar. I will add yellow as a stripe. So I'm creating an alternating pattern here. All right, 
right, then inside of that pattern, I'm actually going to create something else. So I'm going to make like red lines on each side of the yellow. And then I'm going to do something else. I'm going to take some white. I'm going to go across it like this. So on my yellow stripes, I have white stripes going the other direction. So I've kind of laid a pattern inside of another one. So once again, I could be doing this with paint, could be doing it with markers, could be doing it with anything you have available to you. Um, I know you got paint, so that's an easy one. Okay, I'm gonna go in here and do some other stuff. Okay, now that I've added some patterns, I'm gonna come in over top of that, and I'm just gonna do some black marker stuff to make it pop a little bit better. Uh, you could keep going here, you could do more, you can do as much or you know as little as you want. You just, you need to add some patterns. You can't just leave it as bright color paint. All right, so that's my Ale Brihe. If I wanted to add more to this, I absolutely could. Um, you know, perhaps I'll come back to it, but I'm satisfied with the way that it looks. I hope that you have fun doing this. I can't wait to see them. I know they're gonna be awesome. So when you're finished, take a picture and submit.